Welcome to Attican Plays Railway Empire. All right, hi, this is Attican, and welcome to another Railway Empire video. Today, in the comments section on my channel, I received the following from Pro Protagonist Cast. Challenge. Can you build a three or four city cluster using maintenance stations only to provide maintenance? No sheds at any city or rural station. All trains must receive maintenance. Cities must get to at least 60,000 pop. Bonus points for using less maintenance stations in cities. For example, two maintenance stations in a three city cluster. Well, I do believe I can do that. So here's what I did. I, um, set up a three-city cluster in, of course, Toledo, Grand Rapids, and Indianapolis uh, in 1830 time frame. The time frame's irrelevant. But um, basically, I set up the three-city cluster, and let's review what it, what it means. We have city-to-city -city lines between each of the three cities. So there's, there's, uh, one, two, there's three lines right there that we have to have. So, so to, in order to have those three lines go through a maintenance station, I'm putting a maintenance station right in the middle of my three city cluster. And then all three cities are gonna hook directly into that maintenance station. And then it'll be like a pass through to allow you to go on to another city. So here's Grand Rapids, it's coming down to the maintenance. You just saw Indianapolis going over to the maintenance and then, then we'll hook up uh, Toledo on the other side to to go over and hook up to the maintenance. So you can picture that's pretty easy to picture, right? A, a line would go through from Grand Rapids to the maintenance station to Toledo and then back to Grand Rapids. So that would be one of the lines, for example. So um, one thing I have found is it doesn't appear to work to just have the station on the route. They won't stop just of their own volition, you have to tell them to stop. But if you put a stop on there explicitly, uh, they will stop and get maintenance. So there's our first uh, problem, the city to city maintenance. So our city to city lines. So we've got maintenance set up. So each of the lines we'll set up, will always have maintenance on there as a stop at some point. And the interesting thing is the ones, uh, let me just fast forward a little bit so I can explain this to you a little better. So there you can see it makes sort of a little, um, I don't know, ups, upside down Y or, or whatever. But in order to run direct line from Indianapolis to Toledo, for example, across the screen, what you have to do basically is go Indianapolis up to the maintenance, use the maintenance as like a Y junction, W-Y-E junction. And that's a railroad term that's basically a place where a train will go up kind of off a track out, extend around so they can then turn and then go back the other way. It's typically they're done, they may, maybe they'll back into the Y junction and then, then pull out forward. But in our case, we're just gonna use it as a Y junction. We're gonna go from Indy up to the maintenance station and do our magic turnaround, which Railway Empire allows us to do, and then go to Toledo. And then on the return trip, you'll do the same thing. You go up to the maintenance station, even if it hasn't been set up as a stop, you'll go up there to use it as, in this case, the Y junction in order to allow you to turn around. So that's the, that's the deal with the uh, city to city lines. Now, what I decided to do with the um, warehouses, and by the way, I, I, I didn't get this on the first shot. I mean, I, I didn't just, just come up here, draft this up and go. I, had, I played with it quite a bit and tried different, different things. And I had several different designs that worked, but I wasn't very happy with them. And this one worked pretty well and was really simple. So I, I decided to go with this one. So. What we've done here for the three city cluster to support the growth with warehouses, I built a warehouse for each city. So there's a warehouse with its catchment area touching each of the cities. So Indy and Toledo and Grand Rapids each get their own warehouse. Then we're gonna have a line that runs around and connects all three of the warehouses. And there will be a maintenance uh, station at some point on that line. And what we'll do there simply then is have, uh, well, and again, let me fast forward a little bit more so, you can, so that I can show you what I'm talking about. It's much easier to uh, uh, understand if you can actually see it. All right, so I thought it'd be easier just to show you the finished product. We've got 
three warehouses, one uh, attached to each city, and they each get two of the where of the resources. So this one down here is called Sumi because it gets sugar and milk. This one up here is called Loco because it gets logs and corn. This one up here is called, doesn't have a cool name, but it's W-H-V-E-G, wheat and vegetables. That's because wheat and vegetables are loaded directly here. Logs and corn are loaded into the Toledo warehouse and sugar and milk into the, in the Indy Mac warehouse. Then we have lines that run between the warehouses that like, like here's one, the Sumi to Loco line. And what it does is it says, if I'm at Sumi, I can only pick up sugar and milk because that's what's brought here directly and I don't want to pick up things that would have come from another warehouse. So it picks up sugar and milk, goes to the maintenance, then goes to the uh, logs and, and corn warehouse and says, okay, all I can pick up there are logs and corn. And they just keep shuttling those four items back and forth. Then we have a line from Sumi over to the wheat and veg and they, they uh, shuttle sugar and milk over here and wheat and veggies back over here and then we have one more line which would be the loco to the wheat veggies and they shuttle logs and corn from the toledo warehouse over to the grand rapids one and wheat and veggies back to toledo and let me just show you how well this has worked because it has worked very well we're in, uh, started in 1830, it's 1831. Toledo, you can see, is 116,000 and still growing at 73%. Grand Rapids is at 77% and 70,000. And Indianapolis is at 65,000 and 67% growth. So all three are still growing. And uh, we did that with uh, two maintenance uh, um, stations, one right here. So all these lines, like that Sumi to Loco, says Sumi to the maintenance to loco. These internal lines, as I think I've already said, go like Toledo, maintenance, Grand Rapids. Grand Rapids, maintenance, Indy. Indy, maintenance, Toledo, whatever. So there's always, uh, and I guess the one, just to wrap it up, the wheat, for example, would go from the farm to the warehouse, then run up here to the maintenance and go back to the farm to start over. So there you go. I um, was able to do this. I would not recommend a setup like this for play uh, because there's too much queuing. There's there's too much queuing. Um, it it isn't awful. I mean, you know, look at look at this growth. I mean, the growth just kept steady. But it went great. But there's just way too much. It's just too active. There's too many trains waiting and not enough not enough trains moving to suit me, but I, it worked beautifully, uh, I must say. And I did learn that uh, the maintenance stations, you really do have to explicitly name them on your route. Just having them on the line and having them available is not enough. You've got to name them as a route if you want, them, want uh, maintenance on your trains. But anyway, there you go. There's the uh, protagonist cast challenge, and uh, I enjoyed doing this. I learned quite a bit about the uh, warehouses. I learned that this uh, this uh, three warehouse setup with the shuttles between the warehouses is a lovely way to do the growth. It's much better than than uh, almost anything else I can come up with. Having a warehouse dedicated to each city really does work well. So protagonist cast, thank you for the prompt to uh, make this little uh, video about uh, maintenance stations. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it'll help you become a better player, and I hope you'll join us for our next Railway Empire video. Thank you.